I'm going to pick up where the other one left off with interval notation. Interval notation is convenient notation for number line graphs instead of using inequality notation. I need you to express the following in interval notation. Now when you graph, you use an open circle for less than or greater than and a closed circle for less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. So the first thing we've got to do is graph these. So I would have a number line. Uh, at negative 5, I would have an open circle. I want my x values to be greater than that, so I would shade to the right. Now in interval notation, you scan from left to right. Now on this, I'd end up with, I've got shading starting right after negative 5. So when you have an open circle or infinity, you always use parentheses. You indicate where the shading starts, where it's going, or where it stops. So in this one, I would start at negative 5, going toward positive infinity. And I would have parentheses around those two. That is interval notation. This one, I want x to be less than or equal to 2. So I would have a solid dot at 2. x would be shaded to the left. So let me get rid of that. Now, as I scan from left to right, I immediately run into an arrow. So that would indicate negative infinity. I'm going up to 2, but I can use it. If you have a solid dot in interval notation, you use what's called a bracket. So I'd have parentheses, negative infinity, comma, 2, bracket. In this one, I want x between to be between negative 3 and 1. So on my number line, I'd have an open circle at negative 3, closed at 1. I'd shade in between and end up with that type of picture. Notice there is no parentheses, uh, arrows on this one. So as I scan in from the left, shading starts at negative 3, ends at 1. So I'd have a parentheses around negative 3, and I would have a bracket behind 1. So that is interval notation. You just indicate where the shading starts, where it ends, and it's always left to right. You always use parentheses around infinity or negative infinity and a bracket when you have a solid dot. So I've got some more problems down here. Express the following using interval notation and also inequality from a graph. So I need you to pause and, and try these and see what you come up with and then start me up again. In this one, as I come in from the left, shading starts at negative 1 and it goes to positive infinity. So I'd have negative 1, comma, infinity and I'd have a parentheses around those. My inequality notation, I would want x to be greater than negative 1. So that would indicate pretty much your arrow going towards your right. This one, sort of similar to number 3 that we had a little bit earlier, I want x to be uh, in between 0 and 3. Shading starts at 0, ends at 3. So before 0 I'd have a parentheses, after 3 I would have a bracket. Interval notation, I want x to be between. So 0, less than x, less than or equal to 3. So that would be that one. This one, notice I've got two separate shadings. So I need two separate um, interval notations and also two separate inequality notations. These cannot be put together. So interval notation. As I scan from the left, I hit an arrow that's negative infinity up to negative 2, 